Good afternoon. I have a quick video I wanted to put together for, for you. This is simply how to append the store code to the Google VLA feed. The Google VL feed was released a couple of months ago and customers really haven't been using it, but there is a question uh, in most cases on how to append that store code value to the URL. And so I, I thought I'd put this together for you real quick to just kind of run through that. I have a test feed already set up on this uh, sample dealer that we have. And it's, uh, I'll, I'll show you the final product, but to, to create the feed, it's simply just like any other feed type that we have. Uh, feed type is default. And then the feed format would just be simply Google VLA. And then when you move to the next screen, you can add the, the append for the store code. And I'll show you that real quick now. Let's see where I see it. So when you open it, uh, when you hit next, it, it will bring you to the URL append area. Um, you'll select the advertiser and then you can append the store code. And this appended value pulls, basically what it does is it pulls the store code value from the Google Merchant Center that the store is associated with. So all you have to do is simply append uh, the, the name of the value that you're pulling and then the store code value uh, to the URL. And then that will actually pull the store code in from the Merchant Center. And what it looks like on an actual feed URL or a vehicle URL, I'll just pull uh, this, we'll open this up and then we'll look at the, the destination URL. And you can see that it simply appends um, that value to the end of the URL. So it should auto populate then that store code value to the URL. Uh, one, if it's connected to the Merchant Center correctly. So otherwise, it's a simple uh, simple setup. It's a normal feed request. You have the same options to copy, duplicate. Uh, you can filter as usual anything you wanted to pull out of there. So you can set up different VLA feeds if you needed to. But uh, I hope that helps uh, in, in that question. We have gotten that a couple times. Obviously, uh, we haven't done much. Uh, publication about it uh, because it's not been adopted by many clients. Uh, it's more of a, a in beta kind of process with, with everybody, but I wanted to put that together in case you had questions. I'm also going to embed this in our help documentation so it's available to you. But uh, if there's any questions, please sub submit a support ticket and we'll be happy to take care of it for you. All right, thanks.